as promised this morning we're going to show you how we use our pulse oximeter we're going to first see glenn applying the sensor to his finger and then we'll show you what the buttons on his monitor means we're going to be using this melcor adult spo2 sensor to apply to his finger if you have young children this one probably won't work because this is an adult sensor we buy and use these because they work they don't give us many false alarms first thing I usually like to do is put a fold in it before you start getting the tape out because you want these two little dots to go through his fingernail that's how it reads this so we're going to be using his ring finger today we're going to peel it off the sticky backing. You can see the two little sensors right there. Now before I start sticking it to him, I'm going to make sure it's positioned just right. You want these two little lines to line up. So I usually stick the bottom one first because we do take these off and reuse them sometimes so you can get to it easier. Which is not recommended because they definitely lose their efficiency after you pull them off. Some of the things I think just comes apart. We try not to reuse them but when we're running low we have to. Then we use this little sock top to help it stay in place and now we'll hook it up to the monitor now we'll cut the monitor on and see if we have succeeded Okay, how do you evaluate that, Glenn? Well, it's good. We got a good pulse pulse form. Uh, we're showing 82 on his SAT, which is is normally pretty good, and his heart rate probably is about 95 because we've been working with him and aggravating him. Now we double check this thing using a finger pulse oximeter. We want to double check it and see how good that reading is. So that's what we could do is you can use his finger pulse ox and see if it's close to what this is. If so, you know that they're in line with each other and it's probably a good reading, but usually that waveform that you see, um, when he moves and he just did, you can kind of see it. it well, we're reading 80 on the SBO2 here, and we've got a 79, now we've got an 80 there, 79 here. And 99 on the okay, so it's basically the same. Yeah. So this is attached well. It's a good waveform. Um, this kind of averages out the heart rate and the SpO2, and the waveform is indicative of a steady reading that it's getting without interruption like activity. Now the other thing we want to talk about is the readings on this pump on this pulse ox. As you can see. Um, his alarm for his oxygen is set um, at 65. So when his oxygen gets less than 65, this thing will alarm. Okay, here when his heart rate, this is the heart rate alarm. When it's over 200, it will alarm. And when it's less than 50, it will alarm. So, um, what an alarm looks like, Glenn, won't you disconnect it so they can see the alarm? Let it, okay. You'll have these flashing lights and this beep. You can silence it by mashing the orange button. Okay, so you can see the alarm off indicator on here. It will stay off for a period of time so you can correct whatever the issue is in silence. But it will return to alarming. The other thing, this is on a battery pack here. You can see 
right here. Um, if you need to use the battery, um, that's how much charge is on it. And ours is not completely full, but it is showing that um, we're plugged in. So when you move this, you can you can attach it again. So when you can disconnect this from the power source back here and take it with you outside um, in another room and it, the, the battery indicator will let you know when it's time to plug it in again. Um, and two, sometimes these cords go bad. You can replace these. We actually have bought a removable finger sensor that we can use when we don't have the sticky things for his fingers. This is an adult one. It kind of smushes his finger. I don't really like to use it because it clamps down pretty hard. But you can get these to plug directly into this pulp ox. You see right here, it's the same kind of plug. So we can use that if we run out. But otherwise, it's, it's looking good. We have the SPO2 reading as 80. The pulp ox is reading 80. The pulp ox heart rate is 95. This is 96. So we're pretty confident that this sensor is attached and working as it should.